Hey guys, welcome back to the Blender Made Easy video series, and next I'm going to be showing you how to do blueprints. You probably already decided what project you're going to use, and now you just need to do a simple Google search. Let's say I was going to model Dodge Charger. Just do some blueprints. You can go clicking all of these different websites. Theblueprints.com is probably one of the best sites that I have found. The only problem with some blueprints is that you have to pay money for them, or sometimes you get lucky and you can get them for free. I'll go into the images section and here's some good examples of some good free blueprints you want to make sure that they're all about the same size or else that can really screw up your model and you'll find out later on now that you have the blueprints you want picked out you're going to open it it's paint.net because it's easy and simple you're going to select one of the views, copy it, open up a new thingy, paste it, and now you're going to go over to this little magic wand tool. You're going to click on the background, go to edit, invert selection, and then you come over here and it crops to selection. So you're going to file, save as, let's see, call this charger front. PNG is good. Save. Go back over here. Pick another view. Copy it. New. Paste. Magic wand. Select the background. Edit. Invert selection. And crop. Then you also save that one. And then you do that for all four views, or however many views that you actually have. Now that you have all of your views all cropped out together, there's one thing you need to make sure that you have. Go to the top view, and you're going to want to rotate that so that it's facing whichever way your side view is. So if your side view is facing to the front, you're going to want that facing down. Okay, so now here's where the fun part begins. You open up Blender, and you're going to click your background. And right here, of course, do that first. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to close all these up because I don't really need them right now. Click this background images. That's important, obviously. Go to Add Image, Open Image, and this part right here can be kind of confusing. Uh, you basically just have to scroll through your computer files wherever uh, you have your stuff. Let's say you had it right here. If you want to find it later, you can add it to your bookmarks thingies. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I have mine on my desktop. So uh, let's do the front first. You're going to double click on it. And you're like, oh no, where is it? Well, this is an easy fix. On your number pad, press the 1 and the 3, the 7, that all rotates your view. 1 is the front, 3 is the side, 7 is the top. Now if you did like control and 1, that would bring it to the back, and control to the 3, and that would bring you to the other side. But you're still like, where's our pictures? Well, you have to press 5. That basically changes it from orthographic to perspective view. You can kind of see the difference between the views right here. So if you can't see your blueprints, just press the 5 button and it'll appear. And now we go to the side and the front's still there. Well, that's an easy fix. So you come over to here, you go to all views, click it, front. And now it should only be in your front. So now you're going to do the same thing for the side, top, and rear. Got my side in show it only I think this is the right side yep front right and let's do the back Ch -ch -ch. 
all views back. Okay. That's good. Control plus one. One, three, control plus one. That's how you rotate your views, just in case you forget. Let's go to the top, which is a seven. Remember, the number pad is your best friend here. Just because your blueprints are in Blender does not mean that they're ready to be modeled on. So to line them up, it's somewhat complicated, somewhat easy. I'm just going to hit the X button to delete that, so that's gone. First thing you want to do is make sure this is aligned perfectly in the middle. If you zoom in, you can kind of see. This one isn't perfectly lined up, so I'm going to go to my front. Right here is where you change the size of your picture. The left direction, uh, up and down direction, so on. So now, let's say we want to get that lined up perfectly. That's It's kind of hard to uh, line it up like that, so you're going to want to hold the shift button and click that and you can move it around a lot smoother let's just do that and that's pretty much in the middle right there so we're going to go top view make sure it's lined up in the center and it is the side view you can't really do that with the back view Let's go down here. That's pretty much in the center. And we're still not done yet. We're going to go to the top view. Now we're going to go to Add Mesh Plane. We're going to use this plane to line up all of our views together. What we're going to do is G on the X axis. Get that somewhat into the middle. Right there. Remember that's in uh, edit mode with the tab button. So now we're going to right click that, shift, right click that. We're going to grab it with the G button on the Y axis. And we're going to get that to the very back of the car. I'm going to right click, shift, right click, G on the Y. Line that to the very front. And now we just need to get it lined up to the very right. Right click, shift right click. Oh, also, this is an important thing. The middle mouse button is what you use to rotate like this. Okay, so we're going to go G to the X. Get that lined up to the end of the mirror. If these aren't lined up perfectly, then it'll give you problems in the future. And holy crap. Something's not right here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to the side picture. And we're going to have to scale up this entire side. You can click and hold it like that. And we can't really tell. Let's see, this G. Oh, crap. Press A. A is selecting all the vertices. We're going to call these little dots vertices from now on. G to the Z. And let's just see if it fits. No, it does not. So we need to get the size of this car down. And right about right there. You can see that's lined up right there, that's lined up right there. And we are still not done yet. Now, this is exactly half the width of the car. So we need to make it half the width of the car right here. It is right there. And, wow, it is right there. Control plus one to go to the back view. And it's lined up to that mirror. And lined up, wow. One last thing you need before you start modeling is reference pictures. Just because you have blueprints does not mean that you can model an entire car 
just by looking at a flat piece of paper. And to show you what I mean, I'll give you an example of how many reference pictures I have. For example, here's one for an attic six-wheeler that I'm about to make. Look how many pictures I have. Need one for every angle just to give yourself an idea of uh, how it works. I have multiple pictures of multiple views. And sometimes you don't have access to the vehicle that you're making. So you're going to have to go on Google and find some pictures. And that's basically what I've done with this six-wheeler that I'm going to be making for the tutorials. I don't actually have one. Well, I mean, I do, but it's up on some racks. So I had to go on Google, and these pictures aren't the best. But it kind of gives you an idea of the depth of the vehicle and what some of the curves may look like. And so on, like that. And here's a cool little racer I found. Anyways, you're going to want to have pictures for the top, the bottom, the left and right. I got this picture because I need to know what the inside looked like. And you can get the basic idea of what you're going to need. Even finding old pictures like the manuals will actually help you. Like This manual shows me where all the sh fuel shut off is and this and that. That really comes handy when you're going to model something. Don't just go modeling blinded. You want to have lots and lots of pictures. There's one for the eight-wheeler that I made that's in my background. I took pictures of the bodies. The more pictures that you have, the more likely you are to have a successful model. And now it's finally time to start modeling, so be sure to check out the next video to see what you really came for. See ya!